What's up guys? Oh. Welcome back. Today we're gonna be making our famous cauliflower bowl. We're going to keep an eye on the clock. We're going to show you how we do it fast and efficiently. You can really choose to put whatever ingredients you want into your cauliflower bowls. But today, let's see what we have. Brussels sprouts, ground beef right under that. There's eggs and the rice cauliflower and cauliflower gnocchi. Last but not least, I'm actually going to put some carrots into my cauliflower rice just for extra vitamins. Time right now is 12.54. First things first, we are going to preheat the oven 400 degrees. As that's going, we are going to soft boil our eggs. I'm going to fill this up with water and we're just going to have this boiling. Meanwhile, Erin has lined some foil. Then I'm just going to start chopping the veggies since we're gonna pop these in while everything else is cooking. In order for them to be crispy and to cook fast, I'm going to slice them like so. While Joyce is doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare and melt some ghee. We're gonna season it very simply. We're just gonna put some pepper, garlic salt. Since the bowl is gonna have so many ingredients, it's going to be naturally very flavorful. Looks good. Let's put it on here. Let's go in. And then we'll just let it cook in there as we prepare everything else. We have carrots, cauliflower, and beef. Time check, it is one o'clock. Once the water starts to boil, you're gonna go ahead and pop in your egg for six minutes. So with the cauliflower gnocchi, I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. I mince the carrots, that way they'll cook a little faster. So carrots are in there. I'm throwing the carrots in with my cauliflower rice. Pepper. I like to squeeze lemon juice. Lemon or lime juice. Today we're going to use lemon. I put some basil leaves. The only thing that we haven't touched yet is the meat, but we're going to do a time check. What's the time? Time check? 1-11. Aaron is going to measure out the meat. Five ounces of stuff enough. We'll take that. Seven ounces. All flour rice is done. We're just going to use the same pan for the beef. Okay, so he's going to slap on a little bit of ghee. And his. Right, this gnocchi has just been sitting here. So if you look, ooh, yeah, look at that. Nice and crisp. You gotta just let it sit, let it cook a little bit longer than you think. Thing just comes off, dude. Yeah. Gets Nothing gets stuck. Look at that. We didn't even use any oil. Everything is pretty much done. Let's go ahead and check on the veggies. Veggies are done. They're done. We can pull it out. All right, everything is done. Let's check on the time. It is 1.23. This is the finished product. It took us right under 30 minutes. There you have it, our cauliflower bowl. And now we get to enjoy the fruits of our labor. Mm -hmm. You saw we didn't season it too much, just salt and pepper because all the flavors come from each other. Remember guys, you can be as creative as you want with your own cauliflower bowls, but whatever meat you want, but whatever ingredients you want, have fun with it. Okay guys, we're gonna go eat. Peace. Yum, first bite. Oh wait, we gotta check Good. this out though. Ooh. Yum. Ooh. So to the other one. Hang on, okay. hang on. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Pour all the yoki on there. Yoki on the gnocchi. Look, Sula wants some. Sorry, baby girl. A little bit of gnocchi. Mmm. Yummy. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>